Hey everybody, Playtender Guy here, and I'm back with a brand new video. And today I'm bringing you a brand new Blu ray haul where I go through some of the latest titles that I've picked up recently from HMV and Fob, and also a couple of titles that were kindly given to me to talk about on the channel by Aim Publicity. So there's a lot to get through, so that's more than enough waffling, and let's get into it. So hey everybody, hope you're all doing well and keeping safe and thank you for joining me for another video and today, as I said in the intro, I'm going to be going through all the recent titles that I've picked up recently from HMV and Pop. So there's quite a few titles to get through. So first up, I'm going to talk about a brilliant little horror film that came out a few years ago and I watched it this year and it's amazing. And it, it is raw. It is a fantastic, unnerving film. It isn't a very long film. I think it's only like an hour and a half. It's from the director of Titan, or Titan. And it follows a young girl in a vegan family. And um, she goes to a veterinary school. And as soon as she gets to veterinary school, veterinary university, things start to take a very interesting turn when she gets involved with like student rituals and all sorts of wild goings on and then she gets her first bit of taste of meat and yeah things take a very dark turn from there so it is a fantastic film with a sublime soundtrack and it was five pound when you buy anything from hmv or fop and i had to pick it up it is a brilliant film really unnerving and it's got a fantastic ending so that is raw next up is a film that i did pick up in the brand new hmv 2 for 15 um sale and i might actually have to put something over it because it is a bit rude and i will say that it is della morte della more or yeah della morte della more or cemetery man and I watched this last year and it is an absolutely fantastic film. It's available on the Shameless label. And it's about a guy who works in a cemetery. And the dead always rise after seven days. And it's his job to put them in the afterlife forever. Basically shoot them dead again. And it sees this cemetery man played by the brilliant Rupert Everett didn't even know he was in this until I watched it so it was a wonderful surprise to see him in it and he gets close with a widow unfortunately she dies so she gets returned back after seven days and he doesn't decide to kill her no he tries to get into a sort of romantic relationship with her it's a very ludicrous film some really cool practical gory effects and Quite a bit naughty, hence why I cannot show you the front cover, but it's a brilliant film and I had an absolute blast with it, so I cannot wait to re-watch it on Blu-ray. So I can show you the back of it, it gives you all the details, specifications and all that, but it's available from HMV for $9.99 or 2 for 15 on the new HMV offer. And I bundled that one up with a hammer film. And it's the brilliant Christopher Lee and Charles Gray in The Devil's Ride Out. I haven't seen this film in years. I watched it on the Horror Channel probably about a decade or so ago. And I really did enjoy it. I enjoy all the Hammer Horror films from the set designs to the actors. There's something about the films that just feel so quintessentially British. That a lot of modern horror British films seem to lack. It's... A great film, cannot wait to rewatch it. You also got a load of commentaries in it and a load of behind the scenes stuff. So there you go. And that is a slip cover as well. There's a few more of these Hammer Horror films on this off and I'm very, very tempted to get a few more. But Hammer has recently announced that a lot of their films are going to get 4K restorations. So. Do I get them now or do I eventually end up buying them again and upgrade them? That is the question. I also picked up another two from this HMV 2 for 15 sale. And I picked up something called Evil Dead Trap 2. Hideki. Haven't really got a clue about it, but I really like the artwork and the cool little slip here. It's a Japanese horror film. It's about a female projection uh, it's about a female projectionist 
Aki, who is haunted by the apparition of a young boy at an auditorium at the rundown cinema where she works, and the drawing realisation that she might have a hand in a series of brutal slayings in her neighbourhood. As a TV news reporter childhood friend, Emmy follows the trail of killings, their friendship comes under even more pressure as a sleazy salaryman attempts to play the two women off against one another, leading to an unforgettable gory payoff. The film is just under 100 minutes. It comes with a few special features. Never knew A8 films release films like this in sort of Criterion, Radiance film style, so looking forward to checking this out, and I probably should get Evil Dead Trap 1 as well. So yeah, I bundled that one up with a Vincent Price film that I might have seen many years ago, but I cannot remember. Always want to watch it. Got it on Blu-ray now in 2.15, and that's The Witch Finder General. Really looking forward to watching this one in the English Civil War with all like the witches' trials and everything. So yeah, this one is the limited edition, though the slipcover and the booklet edition, which this one is, seems to be selling out quite quickly now, and it's just like the box standard Amore case with just the disc inside. So if you can find it in an edition like this, it is well worth picking up. And the final two pick releases I have here are courtesy of the guys at Aim Publicity. So thanks ever so much for sending these over. And it's a brand new Acorn release of Two Walking Dead Seasons. We have The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, Season 1. This one sees Daryl actually arriving in France and he gets involved with all sorts of like religious groups. But the main goal of the show is for him to transport this young child from one part of the country to another so very similar to like the the last of us and i must admit it's a great little series it only consists of about six episodes but it really does fly by and there's some great moments in it some great horror sequences again the the effects on the zombies are always great and i had a good time with it um definitely looking forward to the second season the second season is got carol in it if i'm not mistaken and is airing now on sky uh, it should be coming out on Blu-ray a little bit later this year, so I cannot wait to dive into that one. So that is The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. That is available now on Blu-ray and DVD from all good physical media stockers, such as H&B and Amazon. So there you go, there's one disc and there's two. So that is great stuff. You do get some special features here, uh, Show Me More, The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, and The Cast Diaries as well. It's 324 minutes. One is another Walking Dead spin-off series, and this is The Walking Dead, Dead City, Season 1. And this one stars Maggie and Negan, another lot of fan-favourite characters getting their own spin-off. Uh, Maggie and Negan certainly have a history together. If you've seen the main show, you understand why. Um, Negan pops up a little bit later on in the series, about series 7 or 8, if I'm not mistaken. And he certainly makes a name for himself with the activities he gets up to. And he does become quite a fan favourite character near the end. So it sees these two characters uh, join up. You've got Maggie, who has a son, but his son has... So it sees Maggie's son getting kidnapped by a gang and she's desperately trying to find him whilst Negan is on the run for doing, no doubt, some other bad crime or something. Um, and he's also got a young girl intact and their paths cross and ultimately they forge a pact to go and rescue um, Maggie's son because the, the gang who took him, the gang who took Maggie's son Negan actually has some experience with them. It's it's a great little series and it's nice to see like these two characters getting together, even though the alliance is quite fragile. And again, very much like uh, Daryl Dixon, it's only six episodes long and it feels really fruitful with quite a lot happening. It doesn't outstay its welcome like the later series of The Walking Dead did. Definitely wouldn't mind having a second season of this one. So I had a great time with The Walking Dead, Dead Sea. You do get a 2023 WonderCon panel special features here. And you also do get two discs. Episode 1 to 3, Episode 3 to 6. 
So that is great stuff. Oh, episode one to three, episode four to six, sorry. But yeah, this is available now also on Blu-ray and DVD from all good physical media stockers such as HMV and Amazon. And also there's The Walking Dead, The Ones That Lived, which stars Rick and Michonne, which is also another great little uh, Walking Dead spin-off series. I'm quite surprised that The Walking Dead is continuing so long after the series finished. I think probably, was it 2019? But the series is actually going quite strong and more stronger than ever, I do think, especially compared to the final few seasons. So looking forward to seeing where the Walking Dead universe goes from here. So that's everything that I picked up recently. So for a quick recap, we have the brilliant Raw. Della Morte, Della More, aka Cemetery Man, starring Rupert Everett. The Witchfinder General. Walking Dead Daryl Dixon and The Walking Dead Dead City. Again, both of these are available now from all good physical media stockers. So I'll leave the link in the description down below so you guys can go and check them out. Evil Dead Trap 2 by Dickie and The Devil Rides Out. So have you been taking advantage of the new HMV 2 for 15 sale? Tell me all in the comment section down below. And if you picked up any of these titles or seen them, tell me all in the comment section down below. It'd be great to have a chat about all these brilliant films and TV shows. So anyway, that'll do it for today. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch my video. Really do appreciate it. So you take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.